Well, chit chat, Kit Kats. Oh my goodness, I just made some. Well, I don't think you could see it in there. No, you can't see it. Let's see if I can get it. Ah, can you see it? There you can see it. I made some mint tea. I got some fresh mint today at the farmer's market so i made some fresh mint tea i think i have to find me a place to get some mint plants so that i can have it and have fresh mint tea whenever i'd like it but uh yeah i haven't had mint tea in forever I used to drink it a lot when I was a kid. I remember you just go out our back door and we had mint growing there. So you'd go out and you grab some fresh mint, go in and make some tea. So I made some fresh mint tea with a teaspoon of Manuka honey and a little bit of the uh, my coconut sugar in there because it doesn't raise your blood sugar so quickly. So having a little mint tea, then I've been watching this guy. I just, I can't believe it. Uh, his name is Mark Wins, W-I-E-N-S. And the guy's Vietnamese, skinny guy. Okay, skinny, little guy. And he eats like you cannot believe. He went to the Amish thing this time. Got a plate like this, piled up like this, literally literally piled like this with a uh, made a big omelet two fried eggs plus a big omelet with everything they had in the omelet I mean, and, and then he's got the sausage gravy a biscuit and gravy so he's going to eat that and then go back to back when he finishes that have lunch Okay, without a break. This guy is, I, I can't. I saw him do the grease. He went to Greece and he orders a table full of food. I mean, and sits here and eats it all. I go, well, how can somebody eat that much food? I'm just amazed. And the guy is so skinny, you know, you'd look at him and, oh my goodness. I have never seen somebody be able to eat so much. I mean, I'd get about this much of the omelet and that would be all I could eat. I'd be stuffed absolutely full. And this guy, like I said, his plate is like that. Two egg omelet with it, it, I think it's at least 15 different things on it, okay, in it. Every type of cheese they had, every single thing they had he wanted on this omelet, okay. Plus two fried eggs, plus biscuit, sausage, gravy. Now, I don't know, this place uh, where he went makes me a bit nostalgic because he went to the Amish, you know, Pennsylvania Dutch Amish buffet. Now, this is a food I was raised on. My mother was Pennsylvania Dutch and she was an excellent cook. So I'm watching him. I'm waiting to see what he, what he gets for his lunch. We haven't come to that first. He's just starting with breakfast and you know as soon as he gets that down he'll go he'll go get stuff for lunch oh my goodness i just uh i can't imagine i can't imagine eating that much food okay so the one i made this morning i wasn't even able to eat all of that um I can't eat much at a time, but uh, you watch these guys and they just like are scarfing this food. It's like craziness. Anyway, so I'm just sitting here enjoying my mint tea. Mm. Nothing like fresh. You know, if you can get fresh and make it yourself, so much better than buying dried 
mint tea at the store, you know. So I was happy to get that. Two dollars, I got a baggie full of mint. So I was really happy to find that. And some fresh eggs. Um, I should have asked what kind of chickens because they're all different colors. Okay, blue eggs and I mean, you know, uh, they look good. I bought uh, fresh eggs and stuff. Now today I'm going to make also, I hard boiled some eggs and I got a um, beet hummus. It's got beet in it and a little bit of lemon in the hummus. So I made some hard boiled eggs. I'm going to slice those and have it with that beet hummus on it. Okay, so sliced um, hard boiled egg with this beet hummus. Now when I tasted that hummus, it kind of reminded me of a bit of a pickled egg. Okay, if you ever done pickled beet eggs, you've had your pickled beets and and what's left, you have that, that you know, juice broth, whatever you want to call it, left, and you put the hard boiled eggs in there and you make the pickled eggs. They're wonderful, you know. Um, so just get your beets and when you finish it, hard boil some eggs, shell them, put them in there and let them sit for a week and, and you get out and you got these nice pink eggs with the yellow centers and you, you, you know, kind of cut those up. You could slice them in half or slice them and have them with a meal. And it's like a pickled egg and it's really, really good. Um, so if you've never tried that, you know, if you like pickled beets, get yourself a jar of pickled beets. When you're done with that, put some hard boiled eggs in there and uh, let me know what you think. They're really good. You know, some of those things, other things that I grew up with that, you know, you never see is pickled beef heart. So you have beef heart and you, you uh, cook it and then you sit it in a vinegar, in a solution with vinegar and whatever other things you like to put in it, vinegar and, uh, you know, you make it sour. It's kind of like a sauerbraten. If you've had German food, it's a, like a sauerbraten, but you make it very, um, again, with a, a lot of vinegar, some water and vinegar, and you let it sit and pickle, and then you cut it really fine, and you have it as, it's a condiment. It's not something you just sit and eat a lot of. <laughs> you, know, you don't want to sit and eat a lot of pickled heart. Okay, you, you, you have to cut it once it's pickled, you know, um, because it's going to be very sour and you're going to cut it very thin slices and you have it as a condiment with your things. You know, those are things I grew up with, sweet and sour spinach, where you do spinach with a little um, uh, vinegar, sugar, a uh, little bit of... Um, the bacon, bacon and hard boiled eggs. So good. Sweet and sour. I grew up with all the sweets and sours. That's a lot of Pennsylvania Dutch cooking. Sweets, sours, you know, grew up with home baked bread. My mother would make pies. I mean, she was really a fabulous cook. Um, so, you know, I'm watching this guy. Uh, at this place and I'm waiting to see what he's going to have for, you know, breakfast you can get anywhere. I'm waiting to see what he's going to have for lunch, what they have at this place in uh, Pennsylvania, this Amish. I guess it's kind of all you can eat and this guy can pack it away. I lose out if I go to those places because I eat so I, I eat what's would fit on a saucer, okay? This guy can eat three or four heaping plates of food. <laughs> it doesn't pay for me to go to the all-you-can-eat places. <laughs> no. 
but for him, he'd make out like a bandit there. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, my mother used to make all those things. One thing I really miss, and I wish I had the recipe for, she used to make these soft cookies, like kind of like a sugar cookie. But inside of it are those kind of uh, tart cherries. So it's very soft, kind of like a sugar cookie, and you bite in and you get those tart cherries. It was so good. So miss that. Wish I had it. The other thing she would make a lot of was pickled uh, watermelon rinds, okay? Um, and they're kind of sweet when you do those. Again, another condiment thing that you have with your food. So, yeah, watching this is a bit nostalgic. Um, the Amish, the Pennsylvania Dutch uh, cooking. Um, so I'm going to go back and watch some more and see what he gets and what they actually have there. You know, things like pickled beef heart and stuff, you're not going to get that. Some of the things I miss are... You know, honey sweet Lebanon bologna. The only place you get that is like Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, you can get Lebanon bologna at the at the stores, okay, but honey sweet, no particular to to um Pennsylvania and, and where they have big Amish communities. If they have a big Amish community there, uh they might have it, but usually you can't find something like that. Now, I did find it, and I did order some online once, okay? I found it, was so hungry for it, I did order it, and oh, it was good. <laughs> but the other things, yeah, you don't see, but maybe one of these days I'll do uh, pickled beef heart again, and, and uh, yeah, because I haven't had that in years years and years and years so we'll see but on that note i'm going to leave this here enjoy the rest of my mint tea and uh see what this guy's gonna eat oh my goodness i'll put a link in the description to this guy's thing it's it's amazing I, I, I can't believe somebody can eat that amount of food. <laughs> okay. So have a great day, and I'll see you over at Hodega time, Hodega Lee today. Don't forget, we'll see you online. Thanks for tuning in.